Hello everyone and welcome to this video which shows an example of a Year 2 Akapi station. My name is Katie Wardle and I'm one of the clinical lecturers at UCL Medical School. In this example I play the role of a Year 2 medical student. The station we've chosen to use is one you should already be familiar with and is found on the Assessment and Feedback Moodle page. This video aims to show you the practicalities of how a station works. So let's make a start and work through this station together. You have one minute to don your PPE. If personal protective equipment or PPE is required to be worn, there will be an announcement for one minute to don your PPE. Here you can see that I'm already wearing a mask and I am now sanitising my hands. Can you spot where I go wrong in my A-lift technique? Now I am donning a plastic gown and tying it at the back. And next, I will put on a pair of gloves. Different sizes of gloves will be available to you at each station. As you can see here, all candidates should have their backs to the candidate instructions, which you can see on the screen next to number one, which tells us that this is station one. The next announcement will be to start your one minute reading time where you can turn around and read your candidate instructions. Here you will learn about the scenario and what tasks you've been asked to complete. Please begin your one minute reading time. So let's read through these candidate instructions. You are a second year medical student on placement in an emergency department. The scenario says, a 78 year old woman was found unresponsive at home. Beside her was an open unlabeled bottle of tablets. Her observations, Temperature 37.1, blood pressure 120 over 78, heart rate 80, respiratory rate 9, Glasgow Coma Scale 8 out of 15, pinpoint pupils responsive to light. The task says, please review the prescription and GP letter which the paramedics found in her bag. The examiner will then ask you eight questions. You have five minutes for this station. Now I'm waiting for the announcement to start this station. Enter station and begin. Hello, my name is Katie Wardle. I'm one of the second year medical students. Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. I just need to check the candidate number. Yeah, sure. Okay, and here's the information you need. Okay, thank you. When entering this station, I introduce myself to the examiner. As shown here, the examiner may verbally ask to check your candidate number to ensure that this matches their mark scheme. As described in the task, I'm now reviewing the prescription and GP letter. So the GP summary information says that the current problems for this patient include renal impairment, chronic pain of the knee and hypertension. The past medical history says that this patient had a stroke and tonsillectomy. The prescriptions show that the patient is on ramipril, aspirin, paracetamol, and morphine sulfate. Now the station will be played through. Play the role of the examiner and complete the mark scheme. We'll see how you marked each question at the end. Okay, okay. What abnormalities are shown in the patient's observations? Abnormalities. So that's normal. That's okay. That's okay. So the respiratory rate at nine breaths per minute is reduced. So that's abnormal. The Glasgow Coma Scale is eight uh, out of fifteen. So that's uh, reduced. Um, and in terms of the other observation, there is the patient has pinpoint pupils. What medication is likely to be responsible for her presentation? Um, so, so I think because she was found unresponsive at home with uh, the bottle of tablets, I think that looks like it would be the morphine, morphine, morphine sulfate modified release uh, tablets. And what is the diagnosis? Um, so I think that would be an overdose of the morphine sulfate. 
And can you describe the mechanism through which morphine exerts its analgesic effect? So morphine sulfate is an opiate and it acts on the mu opioid receptors uh, in the central nervous system. So um, it reduces pain through acting on the nociceptive uh, pathways uh, and it opens the potassium channels in the nociceptive neurons as well. It also inhibits um, inhibits calcium channels. Um, yes, I think that's all. Okay, and can you list four other side effects of opiates? Sure. So other side effects are nausea and vomiting, uh, the uh, drowsiness. So like the patient was found unresponsive. Um, also itching of the skin and constipation. What two factors should you take into account when considering drug dosage in Mrs Smith? Um, so, so looking at the information, I will be taking into account Mrs Smith's age because she's 78 so that's an older patient to be aware of in terms of prescribing med medications. In terms of her current problems she also has renal impairment which can affect drug dosing as well so um, they would be our two factors. One minute remaining. In this case of drug toxicity, name two sources which you can consult to gather further information on how to manage this patient. So the BNF um, would be the first one and also any, any guidelines in uh, hospitals. Okay. And which antidote should be given to treat the opioid toxicity? So naloxone is the antidote. Thank you. That is the end of your questions. Okay, thank you. So as you can see in this example, there was a one minute remaining warning. So how do you think I did? Here is our examiner's completed mark scheme. This would be an example of a clear passing student for this station. Each question was a pass. As a candidate, you will now wait for the next announcement, which is to change station. Change station. Thank you. Thank you. If wearing PPE, you will keep your mask on and remove your gown and gloves before moving to your next station. One minute to don your PPE. So I am now at station two in this example of an Akapi. I started with my back to the station and after the announcement, I start to don my PPE, which is to the right of the station. After this, I will ensure that my back is to the candidate instructions whilst I wait for the next announcement to start my one minute reading time. And now we go again. We hope that you found this video useful and it has helped you to understand the practicalities of the Akapi. Thank you for watching.